guys, welcome back. I'm Kelsey and today I'm doing something a little bit different. If you've read the title, you kind of already get the gist, but I'm sure we've all been there. You're playing your game of Sims. You think you pause, you get up, you come back, you've left it on pause and all chaos breaks out. It's how the Sims do. It is what they are. So today I am going to be leaving my Sims overnight. And by overnight, I actually mean almost 17 hours. So I'm going to be showing you all the sims that we're leaving alone. I'll be moving them into a lot, leaving them there, and then we will check back in all together tomorrow to see what went down. Just a little interruption. I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor for today's video, Casetify. If you didn't already know, Casetify is an awesome brand of phone cases. I got several phone cases for the holiday season. This is the one that's currently on my phone. Their new Impact and Ultra Impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and all the cases come in 100% recyclable packaging. Here's my second case. It also, as you can see, has drop protection up to 9.8 feet. There are endless print options. As you can see, I've even customized these two. You can choose from their selection of curated prints or personalize a case with your favorite font and design layout for a truly custom case. And all the cases come with an antimicrobial coating, which kills 99% of bacteria. If you're interested, make sure to go use my link right here at casetify.com slash Kelsey and Peach Gay for 15% off your order. Here is your fun little cast of characters. We got to start Brielle in Peach Schmay, a classic. Brielle is a kleptomaniac and hates children. I think that'll be very entertaining with the rest of the group of people that we have in store. So next up, we got Jamie in Peach Schmay. He loves music. He's active. He's a vegetarian. He wants to be a musical genius. He will probably be the backbone of the family, keeping everybody together, along with Charlie, although he's a little squeamish and he's a bit childish too. So he's a little bit youthful at heart. He's a vegetarian and he's a party animal. And last of the impeachment schmays, we've got Olive, who is self-assured, squeamish, and mean. I always kind of forget that she's mean because I love her so much because she was my first daughter. But yes, she is mean, which I also think will make for very interesting interactions. Then we've got Rosie Berry. Rosie is a cat, of course. Who more iconic than Rosie Berry? And then we've got one elder, Minth Williamson. And that's right, Mint Berry is here. She is fantastically dressed and she is ready to be ooh, an elder, yikes, of the squad. And then of course we've got Poppy Berry, the alien turned, you know, business woman. She'll probably be the only one with a job in the house that I'm realizing. Poppy will be an alien, so maybe that might freak some Sims out, we don't know. She's also like quite a bit of like a flirt and a hothead, so I think that she might get into some mischief as well. And then of course we have sweet baby angel Summer Berry. I just felt like we needed a little kid for them to take care of because I feel like it's always like a mess. I don't want Summer Berry to be taken away, but if it happens, it happens. So that is our cast of characters. They are the Impeachment Berry family and I will be moving them in. I want to move them into a classic home and yet I still want everything to be on one floor. Let's do the winter. Since it's winter right now, I think that'll be appropriate. We'll go into Willow Creek mainly because it's the OG. I'm gonna put free real estate on because I don't want them to pay for anything. And I think I'm gonna move them into this park shore lot. We're gonna bulldoze this house because we don't need that house. We're gonna put in our own house for a family of eight. All right, here's our lot. This is perfect. We're gonna open the gallery and I'm going to look up a house for a family of eight. We want like a one story. We want like a ranch. Family of eight ranch. Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I need. Let's put it down furnished. I love that it has a pool. Ooh, it even has some kid stuff. So that's perfect. We might add a couple things just to make sure everybody is cozy. So we will add a little like kitty litter thing. We're gonna add a, like a, you know, food bowl. And I will add a um, high chair. I think it's easier for Sims when they're left alone to have a high chair. But other than that, I think this house is literally perfect. I think it has everything we need. It even has a random bassinet for who knows, maybe we have some babies. And then we've got our, our squad out here. They're all doing great. Happy for them. They're crushing it. Oh no, I just started the game and Minth Williamson is dying of old age. Great, awesome. That was so 
was sad. I thought at least Grandma Mint would be around for a little while. Everyone's sad. Jamie is in this awful outfit that I forgot he had. Poppy, 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 Poppy. You have to disguise yourself, okay, around these people. Even Summer is crying little tears. I'm going to have uh, Poppy go inside and lure in the cat so that we can lock the cat in the house. Because I would prefer the cat to stay in the house and not like necessarily run away. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put in an automatic feeder and put that together already just so that they're already ready to go. They're not going to have to worry about anything. It's going to be automatically fed. So the cat is mostly taken care of. Excellent. So we're going to lock door for all pets and we're going to lock the back door as well. But yeah. All right. So with that, everyone's kind of going into the house. Everyone's choosing their beds and crying it out. And I have the impulse to keep playing, but I know I should not. So I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to actually click play. I'm going to leave this here and then we are going to come back tomorrow and see what has unfolded. Good morning. Welcome back. So this game ran nearly 18 hours. I didn't sleep that whole time. I actually started the game around like five and then I needed to get dressed and ready and like work out this morning. So it's like closer to 10 o'clock by the time I'm finally able to look at this. Luckily, we made sure that the game still kept playing. I found that there was a cheat that you could use to like disable pop-ups. So that way the game would just keep running. There were a lot of pop-ups at first, but then they stopped. I guess let's check on our sims and see what they've been up to while I've been away. Okay, so Poppy Berry is here and she's happy because there's a new baby. She is also very cold and feeling hot-headed. Okay. And she wants to get to know Charlie and hug someone and buy an ice cream machine. Great. There's Poppy. She's holding a child named Star Star who has red hair and definitely looks like an alien. All right. Olive is still here. She's looking great. Oh, she's medicated. Apparently she was sick. She got beat up. Oh my gosh. She has a painful bruise from fighting. She's cold. How's Brielle doing? Brielle's sleeping in bed with Charlie. Oh, cuties. And Brielle is just needing to pee, is hungry. That's about it. Jamie and Peach Shmay is still here. Wow, all my Sims, I think, survived. That's good. His body's very itchy. He also got into a fight, I'm assuming, with Olive then? Unpleasant surroundings. He hates being surrounded by filth and squalor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And he's been having a drink, so he feels very hydrated. How's Charlie in Peter Schmay? Charlie has an ear infection. He has to pee, but he recovered from a cold and he's contagious right now. So they're all having a cold together. How's Summerberry? Oh no, she's on her period. She's got cramps and she doesn't like being around this many strangers and she's got a bad breakout. And then we have two children. We have Star Star, the toddler, and Star Star, the baby. Now I did let my stream watch for the 18 hours that this was playing. So they did name the children, I guess, on stream. So this is actually Loki and this is Thor. So we have two babies in the house. I wonder who are your parents? I literally would have sworn up and down that Charlie and Peach May was going to be the parent. But no, apparently Poppy was abducted twice by the same senior Polynesian technician and now has two alien children. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so Olive and Charlie, they hate each other. So that's interesting. Wow, they, they really hate each other and yet have like cooking together sentiments. That's interesting. Okay, it looks like they've all met Santa and the bunch of random other sims. Rosie's dead. Okay, the cat is dead. Okay, that, that tracks. Also, the cat is a ghost. Cool. I am so shocked that Charlie and Poppy never got together. I was really rooting for those two. But it looks like lots of people came over. Oh, the toilet's broken and disgusting. So that's cool. Oh, the cat died in the bathroom. This bathroom's fine though. Oh, so it's at the table and it's red. How cute is that? What the? Why is there no? Was there a fire? There you used to be a oven here and it's gone. Luckily, it seems like the cat food worked out and that, that toilet's ruined as well. Lots of ruined plumbing as expected. I can't believe the bills have been paid. Like, I'm kind of shocked. How long has this been on? Are you kidding me? In Sims time, it's been a year. Interesting. All right, I gotta see what happened with the notification wall. So let's go to the notification wall and uncover what has happened. Oh my gosh. There's so many notifications. Oh no. So I can only 
only see notifications up to six hours ago. I know that more things happened though. And luckily for us, our Twitch audience took clips of things that has happened. And we're going to go look at what they've clipped and see what went down for the last 18 hours of this game. Oh my gosh, here's the abduction. <laughs> You just hear it off screen. Oh my gosh, that is cracking me up. Apparently everyone was stressed out about a disgusting smell, but then Jamie finally learned handiness and fixed some things. Apparently Olive has shown signs of the greedy personality type. So she got very greedy, also couldn't stand the smell and also learned how to fix some things. And then Poppy went into labor and had a baby. Poppy peed herself. Everyone was super hungry. Poppy was fine because of the water can cut Conservation action plan. Brielle, do you have a job? No, she just felt like getting a new job. I feel like going to a different town today. Okay. Charlie reached parenting level one. Good job, Charlie. He apparently helped out with the kid. Oh, Olive unlocked the single and loving it lifestyle. She never got with anyone. Oh, do you think that I could cook? Olive asked Jamie and Jamie says, no, I don't actually. Okay, so the baby survived, that's good. Brielle asked, do you feel really close with me? And Summer said, no, Brielle. Apparently nobody got along in this house. Okay, oh my God, there's Summer. She's a toddler, toddling outside. Someone let this toddler outside. Is she okay? Just walking outside. Oh, and Summer ages up. Wow, she really took a long, a long journey out there. How old is Summer Berry? Summer Berry is a young adult. She aged up very quickly. So they all aged up. Yeah, they're all older for sure. Brielle's birthday, Jamie's birthday. Okay, they all had their birthdays. Bills were delivered and somehow someone paid them at some point. Poppy brought home money. Okay, so she still went to work. Brielle also was very greedy. That's funny. Oh my gosh, the Apichishmes when I'm not watching them are not friends apparently because Olive asked Brielle, do you think I am smart? And Brielle is like, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I do not think you're smart. Oh, it looks like Brielle and Poppy got into a fight as well. Oh, and who's this ghost? Is that Mint? Did Mint? Mint apparently took care of everybody. Incredible, amazing, wonderful. But Summer decided to play video games. That's hilarious because Summer in my challenge also loved playing video games. Senior politician technician gave a gift to the toddler. Oh, Poppy gained a perf some performance at her job. Oh my gosh. And then the power company shut off power to our house and threatened to shut off the water. Poppy earned a raise while I've been gone. I'm glad she's been such a hard worker on her own. That girl is just so strong and hardworking. Even when I'm not looking, there she is. Apparently Summer and her half sibling, Star Star, got along really well. And Jamie and Olive got to, got along at some point. Charlie was cooking. Oh no. Okay, this is back when they used to have an oven. <gasps> And then Summer started a fire, oh no. Oh, luckily Summer is very capable. They all helped out. They apparently didn't have an oven for a long, long time. Oh my gosh. And of course, Poppy was still attracted to Charlie. Says, so wow, what a simp. Poppy just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found them staring at Charlie and Beatrice Oh, but Jamie had a crush on Summer Berry. It says, wow, what a simp. Jamie just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Summer Berry. Whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> Jamie just started screaming, probably because he did not enjoy being stuck in that house with everybody. Apparently our household was not compliant with the clean energy production. That's not that surprising. Personality archetype hit. Dirk Dreamer. Who's Dirk Dreamer? Was he in this house at some point? Why am I getting notifications for Dirk? Star Star was hung very hungry, AKA Loki. Apparently might be get taken away, but was it? Cause he's still here. So that's good. I guess they took care of kids well enough. Oh, the Olive and Charlie fight. I want to see this. Oh, shoot. Look at him go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They got in a big fight. Charlie won the fight. Olive did not. Oh, interesting. Okay. Jamie said, it smells so bad here. And then Olive said, J is the only letter that doesn't appear on the periodic table. This is so random. Okay, the water was shut off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Santa came and yelled at our cat. And Charlie also thought that Summer was attractive. The brothers were both attracted to Summer and not to Poppy. Poor Poppy had a crush on Charlie and Charlie was attracted to her daughter. Oh my God, Judith Ward. Judith Ward, why are you coming to my house? 
gross. They were visited by a celebrity. I wonder if they let her in. Poppy reached comedy level six. Apparently she was cracking people up with some jokes. Yeah, apparently it smelled in this house like a lot. Oh my gosh. And luckily it looks like Tina Tinker came over just in the nick of time. It says, hey there neighbor. Do I hear the sizzle of something broken in there? Oh dear. Would you like help with that? I'm a bit of a handy sim. Apparently Tina came over just to help them fix something in the house. So thank goodness. Cause none of them apparently were doing it. Oh, they have a family dinner together. That's really cute actually. Oh, but Brielle is trying to steal from Poppy Berry's money. Oh no. Oh my gosh, the drama. Oh, that's so cute. Summer asked Brielle, do you think I look nice today? And Brielle said, yes, I do. That's very cute. Again, our first child was hungry. Oh, that's why that is missing. The repo person came. Oh my gosh, Star's possessions have been prepossessed. They are no longer his anymore. Oh my gosh, are we going for the TV first? She's just jauntily walking in. Oh no. And they're all just sitting here watching it happen. I'm cracking up over the fact that this repo person is just coming in. I don't think I've ever even seen the repo person in The Sims 4. That is hilarious. Oh my God, they took items from my toddler. They were like, I'm gonna repo man this toddler for not paying the bills. This toddler should have known better. Meanwhile, Poppy, we have like a ton of money in this household. They did not pay any of the bills. Oh, Mint Spirit was fading away. I bet they were haunted for a minute. Oh my gosh, Summer discovered that Poppy was an alien, not even trying to hide. It. Apparently, Summer didn't know her mom was an alien until two hours ago. <laughs> oh no, poor Rosie. At least Rosie wasn't alone when she died. It looks like one of the impeached May brothers is here. Here comes the Reaper. Oh, so sad. They're all crying together. Harvest Fest was apparently awful for literally everyone. I'm not that surprised. Apparently, JB at one point fixed something because he did gain some more upgrade parts, but the smell is stressing everybody out. And Brielle asked Olive, Do you think I am making a good decisions in my life. Honestly, personally, no. You're like living in a house with a bunch of people that don't take care of themselves and or others and you don't have a job. But apparently Olive said, yes, I do. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> Oh my God, that's too funny. I can't believe she got abducted twice. Oh my God, and then Jamie is getting into his first fight with Olive. They got into a fight. It was two hours ago. That's why they hate each other. And they now despise each other. Wow. And then Poppy went into labor and had her second baby. Meanwhile, the first baby was really hungry and almost abandoned and taken away. Charlie had a birthday. Oh, oh, Charlie was attracted to Summer again. Again was like, she's such an Aphrodite. Oh my God gosh. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe nobody ever got together. Like she doesn't have any romance with any of these things, but she doesn't like Olive either. Oh, the drama. Probably because Olive is mean. They probably all got fed up with Olive. Meanwhile, Poppy is still crushing on Charlie and then just became acquaintances. And that's like our last notification. Well, that was super entertaining. Thank you all on Twitch for watching all like 18 hours of that. You know, I really expected someone to die. So I'm very proud of my sims for keeping themselves alive and i guess that they didn't pay any of the bills but the repo man i guess kept all the lights and the water on enough so they all survived which is very impressive for sims and they also had children that didn't get taken away which is also a shock we had one death of the cat of course all in all i'm very impressed with how my sims did when i left them overnight i am very sad that two of Petrus Bays now despise each other. And I'm also sad that Poppy never got some. Poppy! But all the men had crushes on her daughter. You know what? That's pretty accurate to the Not So Berry Challenge because Summer does have so many people barking up her tree and she just isn't interested. She just doesn't care. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And make sure if you aren't already to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Let me know if you guys want to see another one of these videos and let me know what characters you would want to see stuck in a house together next. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.